Well, that really didn't last long. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, I'm Stella and I love making miniatures from a Barbie's dollhouse using mainly cardstock. In today's video, I'll show you how to make this miniature air conditioner for your dolls. And as always, I have a free printable template to help you make your own version. You'll find all the infos and the download link in the video, so now let's get started! Cut this part of the template and stack the layers together this way. The resulting piece should be around 2mm thick. As usual, I suggest using cardstock from all the packagings for this. Next, cut this 3 or 4 times and glue all the layers together to achieve a final piece that's around 2mm in thickness. And if you're using my free printable template, I suggest using an awl to pierce this little hole. Now cut this part and attach the two layers on top of the previous ones, this way. Repeat the same process for this part. Then glue the resulting elements to the base we prepared earlier on, on the side with these little slots. Next, cut this part several times and attach all the elements together. The resulting piece should be 5mm thick. Repeat the same steps for this part. Then glue the final pieces to the rest of the structure, this way. Cut this rectangle and glue it to the bottom of the AC. Then cut this part 3 or 4 times, stack the layers together and attach the resulting piece, which should be around 2mm in thickness, to the structure. Paint the inner part of the air conditioner with black acrylics. Then cut this part, and I suggest using lightweight cardstock for this. Press it against a wet sponge so that it's slightly damp. Then glue it here and here. To give the exterior a shiny finish, you can either choose to paint it white and coat it with a clear varnish, or cover it with a glossy material like photo paper, a white plastic sheet, or even just regular paper covered in clear tape, which is what I did. And as always, you can find a short list of all the supplies I used for this project in the description box. To make a front panel that can be opened and closed, we'll need some hinges, and we can make them out of paper too. Simply cut this little strip into copy paper, then take a knife in, a piece of metal wire or a paper clip, and roll the paper strip against it, adding glue as you go. You should end up with this. Then cut this part into lightweight cardstock and sort of wrap it around the metal wire this way. Lastly, cut away the wire in excess, and we'll have to make two identical hinges. Glue them into the slots on the back of the air conditioner. We're going to attach the front panel here, but before we do that, let's add more details to our little AC. Cut this part into lightweight cardstock. Hold it along dashed lines, and glue the tabs to create a small box. Cover its front with this part. Then, if you want, you can draw two little fake screws with a black marker and a silver pen. Glue the final piece into the structure this way. And just a reminder, if you have a Cricut or a Silhouette cutting machine, you can use my digital templates, which you can find in my shop, linked in the description box. To make this little airflow fin thingy, uh, I don't know what it's called, cut this part into lightweight cardstock and fold its sides like this. Then cut this into thick cardstock and glue it to the previous part. I actually cut and glued two layers of cardstock to make it a bit thicker. Top off the bottom and front edge of the finished piece with a glossy layer. Then take two flat head pins or sewing pins and cut them at a length of around 7mm. Use them to connect the fin to the main structure this way. The fin should open and close smoothly. Next, cut this part into cardstock and assemble the elements like this. Paint the final piece with white paint, cover its top with a glossy material, and finally attach it to the fin's base. Now cut this 3 or 4 times, glue the layers together, and cover the edge of the final piece with this little paper strip. Next, cut this part into black cardstock, draw some lines across the surface with a lead pencil, then fold it along the dash lines like this.
we'll have to make two identical pieces. Glue these little tabs to connect them to the white cardstock part. Then cut this and attach the two parts to the rest of the piece. Glue resulting elements inside the air conditioner's body. For the air filters, I use these window screen repair stickers. I'll have them linked in the description in case you wanna get them. Otherwise, you can substitute them with a piece of burlap, lace, or tool. Cut this part into lightweight cardstock, glue it to the mesh, and trim any excess. We'll have to make two of these. Lightly bend the filters to give them a somewhat rounded shape. Then glue them inside the air conditioner. Next, cut this part a few times and stack all the layers together. Then cut this part, attach it on top of the others, and paint the resulting piece with black acrylics. Now, this is completely optional, but since I had some leftover window screen from before, I used it to add a little extra detail to the plate. I also used a couple of small beads and acrylics, although, again, this is very much optional since this part will be mostly hidden in the finished piece, glued inside the air conditioner this way. Now, cut this and attach the two parts together. Paint the edges of the final piece white, then cover its sides with a glossy material. Glue the resulting element to the rest of the air conditioner's body. Next, cut this strip. Cover it on both sides with a glossy layer, and finally glue it on top of the AC. Time to make the front panel. Cut this part into lightweight cardstock and fold it along the dash line. Repeat the step to make three layers and glue them together. Next, cut this part, fold it along the dash line, and attach it to the previous ones. Cover the panel with a glossy material on both sides, then glue it to the hinges on the air conditioner's body. The panel should open and close very easily. If you want, you can cut a little strip into metallic cardstock and glue it to the panel for a nice extra detail. To make a remote control for a miniature air conditioner, cut this part and attach the four layers together. Then cut this part into black and grey paper, and by that I just mean white copy paper pinned with markers. Glue these elements to the base. Then cut this into glossy paper and attach all the pieces in this order. Now cut this little circle into lightweight cardstock and glue it here. Then cover the edges of the remote with this strip. Lastly, use a marker, acrylic paint, and a glass varnish to add more details to the remote control. And our miniature air conditioner is ready. As promised, here's the link to the free printable template. And if you're in the mood to make more refreshing miniatures, you may want to watch this video next. And this is all for today's video. Until next time, bye!